Hey, Steve Stein here from GuitarZoom.com, and today we're gonna be dusting off a classic rock anthem. Get ready to play the awesome intro to Thunderstruck by ACDC. And make sure that you stick around until the end because I'm gonna reveal a couple of tips that are gonna help you play this in a way that works best for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. So Thunderstruck, right? Um, okay, so this is just a, a prime example too. We can't really change the structure of that. It's a number four. It has to be what it is. And we can't even really reposition it anywhere because we can't play it on any other string because it needs that open B. But there are things technically that we can change about it depending on what we want it to sound like. Now, if you watch the video, Angus is doing this the whole time. Now, if you know anything about guitar playing, if you throw your hand up in the air and start doing this, all the other strings are going to start vibrating. So is he really doing that when he does it live? Well, not unless he's finding some way of muting all these other strings, right? Okay. So what does he do? Well, we could go as far as... Let me watch this, okay? I'm going to do this. I'm going to hammer and pull the entire thing. I'm just going to hold these other strings quiet is all I'm doing with this hand. So... When I used to play this one on stage, I used to play it like that, right? Because it looked cooler to the audience if I was just doing the hammer ons And then I would actually play it where I would tap it, right? Going. So I play it like that. Okay? Now, again, it's serving no purpose. I'm just doing it because it looks cool to somebody who's watching it. But that's valid. If I'm on stage and I'm playing in front of an audience and there's a thousand people there and they're watching me play this, I'm trying to give them good music as best I can and I'm trying to give them a show that they can be entertained and have fun and want to come back, right? And something as small as that, as silly as it is, might be something that's very impactful for them. Does it change the structure of the song? No, it's still the song, right? Now let's go the opposite direction. You could play this. <laughs> all of them. That's the other end of the spectrum. Now we're picking everything. Okay. When I first played it for you, you'll notice I did a, a series of pull-offs along with picks. Now which way do I prefer? I'd, I prefer that. I prefer picking and then pulling off. That's how I prefer it. Okay. How does Angus play it? Again, I don't really care. Even if I knew the answer, and I would tell you, it doesn't matter to me in the real world. In the real world, the most important thing is to me is when I get out and I play this in front of an audience that I am giving them the best that I can give them and I'm entertaining them. That's what I want to do. I want to, I want to make them happy doing what I do. That way I'm happy too, right? Um, what's best for you, right? Not just how does Angus play it. Angus is Angus. You are you. Okay, how do you need to play it to be able to effectively execute it and make it sound good for you, for your ears and the listener's ears? What's the best approach for you? That's what you got to start thinking about. Okay, so that's just an example of a rhythm, but it's a great way of looking at a, an actual song and deciding what do you want to do with this thing? Hey, I'd like to give you a free pass to my best courses that will take your playing to the next level fast. Just go to guitarzoom.com and get started for free. And there's also a link in the description. Thanks.